Looking at number five on page 39, it says, an automobile is 16 feet long, and the scale is what comes next, and it says one inch equals six inches. So just like before, two ratios. What would you like for your first ratio to look like? Uh, one. one over six? Okay, that's my scale, one inch to six inches. Then what's my second ratio going to look like? Uh, 16 feet long. Okay, does 16 feet go top or bottom? Bottom. What, neither? Yeah, change it. Why do you say neither? Because Okay, so 16 feet, is that going to be the actual or the model? The model. The actual. Well, let's think. If it's inches, is that the model size or actual size? Model, because it's smaller, and then the actual size is going to be the 16. And just be, like before, we set it up this way. Model was the top number, and actual was this bottom one. So if I wanted to put 16 feet down here, we have a problem. That could convert it into inches. Or uh, I could convert it all into feet. Now, if I decided to convert all into inches, that would mean that this would become a larger number which means I'm multiplying by something larger. Can we come up with a way to make six inches into feet? Yes. Well, How many feet <coughs> is six inches? Uh, half. half. So let's just change this. We'll do half a foot. But Mr. Tega, I don't like working with fractions. Well, change that to 0. 0.5. Either one, because half is the same as 0. 0.5. And now we have feet and feet. And up here, we have inches, which means my answer is going to be in inches. Okay, this is what I don't know. So remember, you've got to have the same unit across the bottom, and you have to have the same unit across the top. So now I can cross multiply. I have 1 times 16, which is 16, and half times x, or 0.5 times x. Sure. Now. I know that some of you are going to say, my answer is 8, I know that, but really, is it 8? No. Well, let's, let's do the work. Let's prove it. Uh, how many of you changed this half into 0.5? Raise your hand. Okay, the majority of you did, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that way. So, 0.5x. What would I do now? Divide. I'm dividing by 0.5, or half. This we know cancels to give me 1x. Now this, don't take this for granted, okay? Some of you want to assume that you're multiplying by a half, but you're actually going to be dividing. So let's actually work this one out. 16 divided by 0.5 or a half. And what's my rule about this? Move the decimal it can't be decimal decimal one time. Good, so I move it once. Where's my decimal in 16? Yeah, after Good, at the very end. So add a zero and a decimal. And make sure to move my decimal up into my answer. 15 into 1? Zero. Zero. zero times. 15 into 16? Three. Three. Three times, and that's 15. Subtract, you get 1. Bring down your zero. 5 into 10? Twice, and that's 10. 32 is my answer, but... 32 what? Inches. How do you know it's inches? That's, that's the unit on the yeah, remember, I'm looking for this value here, which has to be in inches. Okay, So 32 inches is my answer for this problem.